Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is Hebrews Plus channel and in this video I want to talk about the main components of EV. Number one is the traction motor, another name of it is the electric motor. The power source of the electric motor, so the heart of the EV we can say. According to the layout, for each v uh, wheels we have regenerative braking system and the components. Then we have engine, high capacity battery and electric motor. The second one is the power electronics. It controls and converts the power. What it means while convert the power? For example, when we connect the EV to the charging port, we get the EV get the AC electricity. So, but the components need DC. So what will happen? It will convert AC to DC. That's the main duty of this component. And also it controls the flow of electricity in your EV. We have TCM, one of the main components, regulates hydraulic pressure through transmission, controls solenoids, controls clutch engagement, and decides when to upshift or downshift based on the driving conditions. Then we have ECM. ECM controls and monitors various systems, including the electric motor, battery functions, and etc. A state of charge and a state of health. Charging systems DC to DC and AC to DC converter. It's the main components, the main components and the main duty of the ECM. For the TCM, it was what? It was a battery thermal management system. Now, a battery thermal management system keeps batteries operating safely and efficiently by regulating their temperature conditions. Then, battery pack. When a number of modules come together with a BMS, BMS, battery management system, and the cooling device that control and manage battery's temperature and voltage. The TCM, according to the photo, there is a tube between the cells of the battery, so the liquid moves through them and absorbs the heat, and absorbs it, so in this operation in this type of operation it will reduce the temperature of the battery tms which it means thermal management system and then we have bms battery management system when a number of modules come together we call it as a bms we have charging system a battery charger in the ev converts the ac power to the dc needed to charge the battery and controls the charging process what is the rbs it means regenerative braking system. The electric machines at the wheels act as a generator and capture the energy and is storing it in the battery for later usage. It's the main function of the RBS or regenerative braking system. In this type, the electric motor or the traction motor works as a generator. VCU. In an electric vehicle, the VCU regulates and optimizes the power flow between the battery and the motor. It also monitors the controls other system, such as the regenerative braking system and the charging system. One of the main two components and electric devices of the EV. Then we have chassis and the frame. It's almost the same of the like IC engine vehicles but it has a special and the bigger capacity of the EV because of the battery. The chassis is a frame like a skeleton in which all parts of the machine are installed together. It has a special space for the battery packs, which is the huge, it's a huge. Then we have another type for the traction motor. Also we have, even we have a space for the ICE engine, internal combustion engine. Thank you for watching my videos and if you like the video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell button.